my game mm -hmm. away. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're playing for something. Just got a man something, you. Everything you get, everything you get. Let's finish this. Do it, fellas. Let's, Let's do it, fellas. Let's go. Finish. Finish. Hey, I got some wise words for that Cincinnati mayor. Know your role and shut your mouth, you jabroni. You gotta fight for your right to party. You ready to make history? Come on, Come on now. Yeah. You know, there's, there's these two words. And when I say them, people get goosebumps because they, they know. They know what happens next. So without further ado. Free smoke. <laughs> Look. Scared cause I'm drowning in silence with bad thoughts These days I don't have nothing to say, man, the bad talks I put in headphones on my driver Pull up to the spot and give a good dick and good diver. I can't lie, I'm uninspired No more pillow talking about nonsense I only stick around to put some band-aids on my conscience I don't know why I feel so bad, nigga That's what we do, no foundation We don't build no more, we just screw Half a bottle of Henny, girl, I'm going with the wind The same nigga say they happy for me Ain't want me to win, so I'm done on my friends Don't need help, popping Coronas And reminiscing, I just call up Big Bro J And say it's time for venting If I live forever, I hold this hate for some centuries You don't know how much I have you Doing with a mint to me, but motherfuck all that. I don't even know for up the time to make the call back. Stupid low though. If they don't get the picture now, man, I crop them out of the photo. I can't relate to my peers. Been doing this shit for years. I'm motivated by fears. I took the wheel and I steer. My sound not dictated by fuck boys in Atlanta. Stay gifted like this album was ghost written by Santa Boss forever. Like they decided to throw me under slammer. Every song's a hit like they pitching me underhand as I could drop a million songs, but they never gonna understand this. Soapbox service for niggas. Never giving chances Fight our whole lives to get these weak ass advances Work twice as hard for this shit that they getting handed And this ain't even nothing we chose, nigga, we branded Still can't tell why y'all of these niggas mad at me I'm trying to get a hundred so I can put my team on salary Give it all to the art, man, I turn my life to a gallery uh, Man, damn, with a fucked up masterpiece 1100 shots and I swear, man, I felt them all If we ain't even good on our blocks, man, who can we call? pre decline state of mind, we broke crabs in the barrel Got us fighting our folk, man, this shit just a life of peril Good morning, guys, I'll get to the point right away I'm retiring for good I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time So when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record And let you guys know first, so uh, won't be long-winded like you only get one super emotional retirement essay and i used mine up last year so uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me my family my friends my teammates my competitors uh, i could go on forever there's too many um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream i wouldn't change a thing. Love you all. Welcome to the show, man. Yo! Welcome to the show, man. I just got off work, bro. My body kind of hurt. But listen, that's neither here nor there. How is everybody doing today? Gotta make a quick see. I was finna when I sat down and got ready to start recording my notes and everything. It was to do the Cody Rhodes <clears throat> Roman Reigns video, but then I couldn't help but see all the people talking about the WBC <clears throat> and the Edwin Diaz injury that happened last night. So we about to talk about that. So more WBC talk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Team USA won against Colombia last night. Shout out to Team USA. The Dominican Republic was knocked out by Team Puerto Rico last night. Unbelievable. That was stunning. But you got to look at how I've I seen people say that this was like the biggest upset all time or a biggest failure. Do you see the pool that Puerto Rico, I mean, that uh, the Dominican Republic was playing in? They had Puerto Rico and Venezuela, two teams that you could legitimately make a mistake and they can beat you. Those was not bad rosters. I've been talking about it all through the WC, 
BC videos I've been making. But listen, we got to talk about Edwin Diaz, the superstar closer for the uh, New York Mets. <clears throat> just got a bag. Got hurt last night. So now people yelling, oh, cancel the WBC. This is why the WBC. Should. And it's just so weird to me. You know, I tell you all the time, fans irritate the hell out of me, but it's just so weird seeing some, like one dude named KFC uh, was like his Twitter handle or whatever, posted a long ass tweet, you know, saying that he hoped people get hurt on your favorite team. So he must be a Met fan saying that, you know, if your favorite player, he hoped players on your team go to the WBC and get hurt and yada, yada, yada. It's, it's always interesting to me when people show you how fucking stupid they are. Because our favorite players can get hurt playing in spring training right now. Like, that's the thing that's baffling to me. People, because people tend to not see, that's one of the problems with sports anyways, is that the sports media and the a average fan devalue everything in sports. <clears throat> I told you, stats only exist now because people, not just the regular stats that we knew all that everybody uh, knew back in the day, these advanced analytics and shit. These only exist for lazy people who choose not to watch the full games. So they try to paint the full picture by looking at all these stats. The reality is, as long as you have the media and fans, casual fans, constantly saying this don't matter, that don't matter, you're going to have the moronic fans that come out and tweet the stupid shit like Buddy tweeted. At the end of the day... These baseball players could get hurt in spring training. They could get hurt at their crib. They could get hurt the first day of opening week. That's just the nature of the beast. When you are an athlete, that's what you sign up for. It's an understanding that you can do everything right and still be, get hurt. That's just how this thing go. I find it very interesting that people are blaming the WBC yet again. Fans love to show how stupid they are and other stupid fans rock with them. Once again, spring training is happening right now. Spring training is exhibition games that mean nothing. Those are tune up games. The WBC is actual games that matter. But for some reason, because your team is can't win a championship through the WBC, you don't care. That's cool. Nobody asked you to. But for these men on the field performing for their countries, it matter because they wouldn't have showed up if it didn't. It's dudes who cared and wanted to show up who couldn't show up. For fans to just constantly yell, because that's really what I'm sick and tired of hearing. You always hear these fans. Oh, these just exhibition games. These don't matter. Oh, it's an all star game. It don't matter. But the same fans that bitch about these games not mattering is the same fans that a bitch about, oh, they need to do something with the all-star games. But you don't care. So why even watch it and waste your time? Because there's people out there who love the WBC. A lot of people who love the WBC. That's why the viewership for it has been so good. I'm watching all type of WBC games. But that's the thing I say. It's like I said before. Y'all keep telling me that you, you know, I'm a baseball fan. I'm a basketball. No, no, you're not. You're a fan of a team and it don't go further than that because your knowledge telling me that you just watch one team. The way you speak on the sport tells me y'all have no respect for the sport whatsoever. Do you know how hard it was for Mike Trout, Mookie Betts to air not or uh, Nolan Arenado? JT Real Muto, Kyle Schwarber, Trey Turner, Paul Goldschmidt. Sh <coughs> <coughs> These are all dudes who play for Team USA who have legitimate title World Series aspirations this year. Who all said they still want to play for the WBC? Shohei Otani is going to get paid. He went to go play for the WBC. Biggest star in baseball. Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani. Those three men finished one, two, I mean one, three, and four 
in the top five, in the top hundred baseball players this year. And I can make an argument and all of them could be number one. I can make an argument right now that all of them better than Aaron Judge, who was rated number two. Shohei was rated number one. All those dudes play for the WBC. So it mattered to them. And I'm so sick and tired of fans continuing to think that just because you don't like something or care about something, everybody else should feel the same way. Just because you are the type of ugly person that don't care about nothing, that's not how everybody else lives their life, bro. Just because you can only find value in a World Series, that's not how everybody else lives their life, bro. This WBC shit, if you actually watch it and listen to the stories that they're telling about what this means to them, to play for their country, to represent their countries, to have a chance to win a title for their country, like, it's insane to me. It's insane to me. And then you take this this type of game and say, oh, this is why it the bozo who tweeted all that nonsense. Now, tell me exactly how is they is, is the WBC's fault that Edwin Diaz got hurt celebrating. Jumping up and down regularly. And boom, there went his ACL, I believe. I think it's his ACL he tore. He wasn't even pitching. The game was over. No baseball was being played. But it's the WBC, the WBC's fault. What? I mean, just listen to some of the shit that y'all be saying. It don't make sense. And shout out to Edwin Diaz. I hope I wish him a speedy recovery. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure Edwin Diaz would even tell you what the fuck the WBC got to do with that injury. That's just a freak injury. Mike Trout said it last night. Bro. He could, I could get hurt in spring training, is basically what he said. Like, it's a freak injury. He said this is some of the funnest baseball he done ever played in his life. And I believe him, man. Get Mike Trout to Philly, bro. Or, hey, or I would not be mad at seeing Mike Trout in L.A. with Mookie Betts, bro. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. This, this game, this WBC, along with watching Mike Trout last year, that made me even bigger. Uh, uh, even I see why everybody is huge Mike Trout fans. I see it. This dude's awesome. Like this dude is a megastar. <coughs> well, I wish he was a megastar in the, the way baseball worked. But my homie actually said something to make a lot of sense to me. He said, why do baseball care? Why would baseball players even care about being megastars like getting popularity? They contracts guaranteed. Make a good point. <clears throat> they don't got to work for endorsements. I say, yeah, you make a good point. And they're going to be big in the city they play in anyways, the way baseball works. You make a good point. But nonetheless, you heard how and Mookie even said it too. Could get hurt playing in spring training. It's not like if they wasn't playing in the WBC right now, they wouldn't be playing at all. They would be playing in spring training. But because fans are so entitled, and so selfish. They tell you that they care about these players. They don't. Because clearly if you cared about the players. You care that they cared enough to play for the WBC. Instead. You care about your own self interest. Your own team. <clears throat> I saw a report the other day that was like. See I couldn't be one of these dudes bro. Because I saw a report the other day. Where it was like the Angels said that Shohei Otani's last pitching game in the WBC was like, I think the last game he played or something. And I think the report was like Shohei's response was, that's news to me. Because that's that would be news to me, too. Because you're not finna tell me I can't like, bro, for one, I'm not no half faster. If I if I say I'm going to play in the WBC, I'm going to play in the WBC. You're not finna put me on no pitch for one. Every pitcher can only throw up to 65 pitches. You can't go past that. So, <clears throat> two, the way most of these games have been managed, most of these pitchers not even getting to 65 pitches anyways. So, for all the morons out there who continue to blame the WBC for the free, and it, it, what's funny to me is, this is how you know some people just go to any extent to blame anything on anybody, bro. The man was celebrating. And somehow people blame the WBC, bro. 
it just absolutely like it's a couple things in this thing that right like this just don't make no sense to me he was celebrating not playing oh it's the wb he literally could have gotten hurt if he was playing in the uh spring training right now like it's not as if spring training is not happening right now the wbc literally is happening while spring training is happening meaning every year the spring training happen at the same time we do uh, we will do the wbc this year and people had like the wbc happen every year <clears throat> which mind you my i don't even know why i said it like that because the wbc literally happens while spring training is happening it's not as if it's happening at some weird time the wbc literally has no culpability in this injury gavin lux got hurt for the season in spring training other players have gotten hurt this year in spring training. I see how those Mexico fans react to Randy Rosarena, a Rosarena, all the big hits he done had. I saw the Japanese fans pass around the home run ball of Otani's home run ball. I see how Chinese Taipei <coughs> respond. When Buddy was going off. I can't remember his name at the moment. I saw the Angels fan go crazy when Mike Trout hit that home run. You can't tell me that this shit don't mean something to these fans. Who are participating and watching it and coming there. I see how these bullpens. I mean how these um players is reacting when they hit home runs. When they score. When they get the RBIs. They all out the dugout standing there waiting to celebrate. This shit means something to the players. And that's all that matters. I said it before. Baseball getting into this routine where they think they caring about what the play, what fans want and not about the players, which is why a stupid ass pitch clock exists, which I think is absolutely devastating for pitchers to have to deal with a pitch clock. First, you take away the sticky stuff. Now you put them on a pitch clock. Like, I just think a pitch clock is one of the worst things I done ever heard as far as like a rule change in a sport, but neither, neither here nor there. The WBC is phenomenal. I love it. Shout out to Team USA. I hope we beat, uh, I think we play Venezuela next, bro. That's going to be a tough fucking game. Bro, we got to have, listen, <clears throat> my guys, Mook, Trouty, Goldschmidt, Nolan, Trey, Schwartz. Mark DeRosa, Timmy, like, bro, we got to get it together, fellas. We got to get it together. We got to go out there and beat Venezuela. That's going to be a tough team. That's the team with uh, Jose Altuve and them boys. Uh, uh, Ronald Acuna. Watch this. Ronald only got, I think, three hits of the entire tournament, bro. Watch he start going off against Team USA, bro. Watch. Just watch. I think I saw a tweet where uh, Adam Wainwright was saying that, you know, it was other pitchers who wanted to come play for the WBC, but the insurance and the team wouldn't allow it. I just think that's despicable. Absolutely despicable. To not allow these men to come over here and play for the WBC because, oh, we paid them a lot to win for the. And, and I even don't like. And listen, I get the that type of way of thinking. Like Brandon Nemo said it. Uh, the uh, the Mets pay me, so I'm gonna stay healthy and pay for the, play for the Mets. Cool, that's cool. I respect his way of thinking. My counter to that way of thinking, however, is so what happened if you get hurt in spring training for the Mets? What then? Is it say is it better that you got hurt on their dime, playing in their uniform compared to the plan for the WBC? <clears throat> like I'm confused by that. So, hey, to each his own. But the WB people always want to find somebody to blame or something to blame when shit goes sour, not realizing that that is just how life is. That's how sports is. We've seen it too many times. This is not the WBC's fault. Nothing should change. By the way, I saw that Max Scherzer uh thing where he was talking about the WBC and it should be held during the season. Um, just a, a load of dumb shit that he was saying. Um, 
Max, you could have legitimately just said you did not want to play for the WBC and kept it moving because them dumbass reasons, reasonings and uh, the, the format that he thinks should work is just absolute fucking stupidity. Now, you think players, you don't want players, some of you fans don't want players to play through spring training. Max Scherzer is suggesting that they have the WBC midway through the season. Now, if pitchers won't commit to doing it right now, why in God's name would a pitcher in mid-season form commit to playing for the WBC? How does that make any sense? Like, it's a heightened risk at that point that they could get hurt because they had already been playing so far throughout the season. Like, Max, do you even hear yourself talk sometimes, bro? Or was you just saying a bunch of bullshit to be funny and condescending? Nonetheless, I appreciate y'all for joining me, man. <laughs> On another episode of Kicking It With Say, shout out to, once again, shout out to Team USA. Uh, shout out to Edwin Diaz. Hope you heal up, big dude, big guy. I'm glad you got your big contract. So my man's going to be good. Um, and I'm a Phillies fan saying this. like, And I just want y'all to understand. My favorite player in baseball is Mookie Betts. You don't think I'm going to be hurt if Mookie Betts get hurt? But I'm not going to blame the WBC. I'm going to understand that when you play sports, there's a risk of injury. Mookie could have gotten hurt when he was playing in spring training, just like Trouty, just like JT Real Muto, who played for my favorite team, just like Kyle Schwarber, just like Trey Turner. So the mor to the moron who said he hoped my fa uh, to the t dudes on my team get hurt in the WBC, jackass, it's a multiple dudes on the Phillies playing for the WBC. Mind you, what kind of human being do you have to be to wish injury, season-ending injuries, or injuries in general on another human being? I'm telling you, man, this thing called a fan. Boy, boy, boy. With that being said, Tell somebody you fuck with them. Tell somebody you love them. You can be anything in the world. Do not be a KFC, but do be kind to somebody. Sign out. I got the moves like hot sauce. Little mama taking the top off. I'm laying down getting topped off. After this, she know she getting knocked off. I know she loving the money, so I keep on thumbing and thumbing. She says she horny when she take a shot, so I keep them coming and coming. Now I'm putting dick in the tummy. Scoop her up like I'm raking or something. You would think Shawty red track, the way that she running and running. You getting dumber and dumber, you out here chasing the bone. After she finished from giving me dome, the Uber is taking her home. <laughs> hey.